Hi, my name is Fava Brooks. I'm a program director for a nonprofit called Talk. Talk is all about awareness, education, and support. But I'm here today to tell you a little bit about a program that I recently created with a colleague of mine called Jaime Romo. I have for over eight years been educating adult and teenagers in primary prevention how to prevent child sexual abuse. So over the years I keep hearing from parents that they are nervous and frightened and uncomfortable to talk to their kids about child sexual abuse. They worry about scaring them, they worry about putting thoughts in their minds, uh, making it worse. So, but I'm here to tell you, if you are a parent and you have not had this conversation with your kids, um, you need to really consider starting and starting now. We'd like to think that child sexual abuse doesn't happen in our family, in our good circle of influence, in our good schools, and in all our good community. But unfortunately, given the statistics that one out of every four girls, one out of every six boys, will be sexually abused before the age of 18. So given these numbers, I, we encourage and invite you as a parent to attend one of our upcoming programs here in San Diego County. We call our program Safe, Family, Safe Families, Safer Communities. And in our program, we talk about the facts, we talk about the statistics, we talk about the prevalence, we talk about how it happens. We talk about the grooming process and how some of the offenders will actually groom you, the parent, before they go after your child. So we talk to you about the signs and the behaviors that these offenders will often uh, demonstrate around you and your family. So we talk about the signs of abuse, what to do if you suspect the child is being abused, and like I said, we un unknowingly give access to our kids. So once you hear some of the stories that we can share with you, uh, you will see things very differently, but not in a bad way, but you will see things and start questioning, asking the right questions, asking the adults around your children the right questions, and asking your children the right questions, and not just um, to be interrogating people, but as, as a way to create a safe community, safe family for your, for your children and the adults around you. And the most important part, we're gonna share with you some tools and give you some exercises where you can practice with other parents how to ask those questions, how to start perhaps this uncomfortable conversation with your child. But it's actually fairly simple. It starts when your child is young and you start naming the body parts for what it is called and give them a way to tell you if someone asks them to do something or, ha or is doing something to them outside of what you have talked to them about they are going to feel a lot more comfortable coming to you, the parent, if you have communicated those things to you. So it's us, the parents, we have to give our kids the words and the, the comfort to come to us because we've demonstrated we're comfortable talking about it and so they're more likely to tell us. If any of this is of interest to you and you'd like to attend our upcoming programs in San Diego, please email us or call us and we would be happy to partner up with any youth serving organization that is interested in learning more and is interested in bringing education and awareness to the parents and the community that they serve. I believe we're stronger together and it takes a village to keep our kids safe. So we really hope to see you.